Hi guys, Scatlink here. Welcome to my modding showcasing sub-series, Hats Off To You, a series of which we try out community created hats, costumes, functions, singular levels, full chapters, or time rifts created by the Hat in Time fan community via the Steam Workshop. This will also include any challenge roads of which will have their own video dedicated to earning ourselves a trophy, of which would otherwise be permanently missed. Things are heating up now as we have more death wishes for the live summer 2023 event and I'm going to be here so I can just check the descriptions of the mods before we hop into them which funnily enough we will actually need access to the mod itself because there's two time pieces in a particular rift although it's optional so last time we finished off with Raid Aquarium Hotel Rehydrated and upon a completing Bokid's Beach Bash, which was our first one, we went over to Pirate Palm Paradise which also unlocked Raid Aquarium for free and 10 stamps are required for this level here, which we'll leave for now because Sea Swip Scramble also became available for free after beating the, be the Beach Bash. So we're moving on to this one first and this one seems quite simple enough by R R Royce? Royce? Is it silent? Maybe Royce. Sea Swept Scramble, collect 20 power ponds, 50 power ponds, and obviously maybe all of them, print near enough to get the timepiece. Sea Swept Scramble by Royce. Hat Kid is out for summer vacation, which only means one thing, exploring new places. Join her as she visits the remote Sea Swept Island and see what the island has to offer for the 2023 summer mod jam icon renders by Bon the Angel. This is his first level, and is such relatively short and easy level, hookshot and ice hat required. Remember to start the level in the map and not in the mod menu, otherwise you're going for a mod timepiece slash mod rift token and not the free death wish stamps. Probably not supposed to sound ominous if we were playing it outside of the death wishes, but that's just how it is. But regardless, we are here! Sort of, that's just rude. In considering that this sign is actually welcoming us. Hello players and elegant Saria. Thank you for playing. This is my first level mod so it may be a little basic and rough around the edges but I had fun making it and learning the editor. Big thanks to... Oh, we've got even more credits here than what was just in the description. LC, LCL, familiar name. Super Cool Sonic, Catwish, Super Ink Link, Abby Job, Dr. Tree Frog, Ultra Boo, Miss Kitsune, not to be confused with the Space Kitsune, the Shadow Hat, Sab Mods, Cat Cube, Solutanis Orconos again, can't pronounce that. Lumitic Crash for helping out and being patient with their questions. That is a load of credits for this one level. So we're going to be just, you know, living it up as the tourist right here and just running about. How many do we need? Well, let's grab one and figure it out. 70! Hello, and welcome to Sea Swept Island. We, we were going to give you this timepiece, but the security field is malfunctioning, and the only way to override it is to collect power bits scared throughout the island. Hopefully this hasn't removed a star from your review. <laughs> ah, you're fine. Also, uh, you're rocking the double shades. I feel like it's an, only an obligation if I fit in with the locals. Where's the machine gone? I can't see it. There it is. Ha <laughs> ha! And with the goggles, it's just even more. I mean, look at these statues. They're rocking it out as well. We gotta be we gotta be fitting in. Like, it's what a good tourist would do. Tell your friends! Or oh, don't, I'm not your mother. <laughs> well. Oh, hello. We can go up if we want to. You can make your way up the mountain. Or can you make your way up the mountain? That's more of a question than anything else. We'll check out the village in a minute. I want to start going clockwise around the outer edge of the island and then make my way to the centre and then going up counterclockwise. That is my route. What are you doing? Man, this place is a ripple. 500 ponds for a lousy beach ball? I mean, as much as this sign's a ripple, look at this. Step right up! Come on, you know, only just a below a million ponds. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Signs are fake. I smack it with me. Oh, I did actually put it back on. Okay. Uh, what do I actually want instead? You know what? I'm fine with it. It's a souvenir. Sorry, I don't have anything to say. I just wanted to feel included. You set up a stall just to feel included? A bit weird. Not quite the tool I had in mind. That's a tiny mushroom. 
I mean, we can stand on it, I guess. This is a bit interesting, instead of bouncing off it. But yeah, nothing to buy. However, there is one yarn in this level, and you should be able to actually see it. Um, with a little rainbow. I, uh, oh, wait. No, that's not it. I know there's one up there. We're probably just a bit out of range for it to actually be rendered. But there is one up there. These are all normal ponds. They kind of blend in. Unless they're sparking. This fruit bar, or is it? <laughs> that sounds like an unused line. Nah, actually is fruit bar. Because he doesn't speak after that. I would have gone down a belly dive over there. Can I have a hamburger? No. Cheeseburger? No. Big Mac? No. Whopper? No. Hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac, Whopper. 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 Big Mac, Whopper. Big Mac, Whopper. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> that was a trippy time rift that we went through for a challenge road. Wanna buy something? I like how I can just cut the line and eat if I wanted to. You better not. People might like murder us. Don't judge. <laughs> Fair enough, you're with a cousin, auntie's sister, twice removed or something. I forget it, it's been a while. Man, the sure beats the conductor constantly breathing down your neck. You said it, none of that pointless bickering between him and grooves. Sounds like a good holiday, although maybe you shouldn't be subjected to that to begin with. It's nothing to do with you. Mafia thought this would be Neon's gate away, but whether just the same back home. Mafia is homesick. What could be better than the beach? Clear, warm water, paradise skies, sand getting into your food. I mean, I never eat my food around the sea. Or the beach, for that matter. I get off to a more solid, dry area, at least. I mean, I did have one, I did once have a picnic on sand, but obviously we had a little picnic spread. I could have got up there, I kind of screwed that up, it's fine. We could do it from here. You're standing right next to the detonator button. Luckily, there's no handle. We were going to use this TNT to blow up these rocks, but it was too risky when we were on around. Personally, I still want to use it. Blow it all up! Alright, Pyromaniac, calm yourself. I want to get up here. There we go. What? Oh. <laughs> we can get up here. There we go. There's a couple of ponds up here. That was basically all that was on this rock. Fair enough. Moving around. Got a couple of enemies here. Just... Pound you, jump over your shockwaves so you don't cause problems for me. Smack you with the violin, or the ukulele, should I say. It, it's actually a guitar, but we're going by the mod names, which is guitar for the weapon, ukulele for, you know, no, no. this. <laughs> you can actually hear me pressing the button. I can actually just run with it in my hands. Oh! That's Vanessa! What's she just doing here? Also, why is she just silhouetted against the background without her effects? Is she... safe to approach? Oh, those power ponds in here. Probably not a good thing. This Oh, she could be drinking. Maybe she's more docile when she's got a few downer? Come at me! Don't look at him. Guess she's distracting herself with a very impressive model of her house. Spikes and all. This is the closest that we can get to Vanessa without any special effects. She's literally just a silhouette. You wouldn't expect that to be a thing. Um. Oh. Grab that real quick. Uh, Snatchy Boy. Um. I can see that you've built your house as well. Is there a token on top? Or a relic? <laughs> Do I get an achievement for this? It's very sturdy, actually. Ah, you know, kiddo, these private cabanas are so nice. It almost makes me forget about how my ex is in the next one over. So you're aware, then? You both suffered similar fates, didn't you? But yeah, he's just kind of chilling. That's fair enough. I mean, if they're in a mutual state right now, I think we're safe. Also, what's up here and around? 
Got more power ponds. Swing across. Didn't seem to lead much anywhere. Maybe there's stuff on top. Oh, and there you are. Now you can see the uh, the shine of the yarn that we need. So we'll be heading up there in just a moment. We have another lighthouse. No dive board this time. So I've heard rumours about this mountain. That it's actually still an active volcano. But you didn't hear that from me, right? Or is that supposed to scare off the natives? I mean, Hawaii's a bunch of volcanoes. They get tourists all the time. Ready for a luau! Never been. Alright, well we're back in the village now. Let's explore the village a little bit. Before we head on out. You can hear the timepiece shimmering, but we can't grab it at the moment. I am wall climbing when I'm not trying to. I mean, we were pretty much here when we went on top of the big rock just next to us. Like, that one there. This Tinkerer recently arrived on this island. He's always inside his workshop, barely coming outside at all. Strange. I wonder what he's working on. Well, we'll never find that out, unfortunately, because we can't open that door. A bunch of us settled on this island when those infected flowers wrecked havoc on us. Oh really? You actually left Alpine? It certainly has a change of pace being down on the water level instead of all high up. I mean, I guess so. I mean, uh, as before, Alpine Skyline was originally a desert level, and I still have yet to cover that desert mod that is basically Chapter 4 question mark, because that's what it was inspired by, and that's what it was originally going to be. A Twilight Bell is... Oh, what am I saying? We're nowhere near it. Ah, so you've moved down here, and you're just used to saying that. Normally that would be a passing comment instead of, you know, dialogue you would chat, them, chat for them to say. Let's get on top of the Tinkerer's house, then. I mean, who's in this house? The Professor from Spyro 2 in Avalon? That's the first thing that comes to my mind, especially with these character designs. Up we go! Because there's not much else to do in the village. It brings us around town, quite literally. In fact, don't know what happened with the camera there. Uh, okay, I was pressing attack and I did not go for a homing attack then. That was a little bit interesting. You could also jump from the top of one of those... Uh, points of the house and just jump across here to get that one pond. And that's how you would get back up this way without needing to take the, uh, the zip line. There we go. Make our way round. We only need 20 more ponds to get the timepiece. And that's literally all we have left. Bounce up this way. Stay cool! Hello. Climb on up. That and it's not up here. Maybe the perspective messed us up. It's over there. Right. So we need to go over there in a moment. I see you, lazy poor gang, and I still couldn't hit you. But, ah, bollocks! They actually took my. Oh no, they haven't taken my hat. Did I kill them both at once. Oh no, I didn't. Now I have. That was a little bit panicky. It's all good. camera would stop imploding, it would be nice so I can actually see where I'm going. There we go. I don't know why, but it, like I still have it set to very far. I don't have trace camera, and yet whenever there's a wall even remotely close to hack it, the camera likes to implode, and I don't know why. Like, there's nothing like it, like with this tree, nothing in the way, but then all of a sudden it wants to get... Basically, nothing can become between hat kid and the camera. I feel like that's what the problem is. Otherwise, it will try to cut through it. Which I don't like. But I've mentioned that many times. I can literally not see what's below me. It's fine. We'll go up this way. Get a better view from up above. Don't fall off. We're not liable. That was not enough to get up there, unfortunately. What we need to do is use these spiders to get across. Oh, double kill. Nice. Right. Hit. Uh, I guess I will not be doing that then. Maybe I wasn't at the right elevation. Here we go. So, hit you. Jump across. Where's... Is there not normally two? 
Oh, they don't respawn. Oh, well, that's a problem, isn't it? Oh, bollocks. Uh, I was just trying to retry. That could be problematic. That's fine. I've got a plan. We'll jump on this tree here. Which has a pawn on it. And then I'll just do that. There we go. And then we go time stop yarn. What I was going to do was jump along the spiders, but I accidentally killed one and didn't prepare myself. Tried to go again, but they don't respawn. I, I did not actually realise that. But since there's a tree with a pawn on there anyway, a power pawn that you need, you can also climb up from the back end. So yeah, time stop yarn within this event. So if you haven't made the time stop yarn yet, or you're still struggling for yarn, you can't find them all, and you haven't checked my walkthrough, <laughs> my very comprehensive walkthrough on this game that this is a part of, uh, there's a yarn for you right there if you need it. I mean, not many mods come with yarn to collect, but there's one there if you need it. Which now actually brings up our in-game total to 90. But there is still more yarn throughout the levels that we're going to go through. So we're not done yet. But yeah, we're over 90 yarn in total if we'd never made a hat. Almost at the top here. I feel like I'm missing a couple of pawns, but it's fine. Because up here should be like five on top of it. There we are! Wait, I'm missing two. Why am I missing two? Oh yeah, right. There's a little, a little crevice down here that has a couple. Which I cannot see. Game. There we go. They're on the back end on a little path. Which, if you fall down that crevice, leads you to these extra five. But now we have enough. You pretty much need all of them. There's only about five overflow. And we pretty much grabbed them all anyway. I didn't actually know about the ones inside those houses. I thought you couldn't go in them. I was just being sneaky and then we bumped into them. But yeah, short level, but it pays to explore. And there we are, another three stamps and more levels available to us. With not being in the mod menu. That's not all the way unlocked yet. We can't go and do that level. So we're going to have to dabble our way back. And technically this one is available. But we'll save that for later because that's a big one. So we'll go for this 10 one over here because it's at a dead end. Not connected to Hattle Royale which we'll get to later on. In fact we'll be leaving it to last. But for now, Rift of the Rising Sun. Reach the, well, beat the level effectively. Reach first checkpoint, reach second checkpoint, and then collect the timepiece. Pretty simple, it is a rift. So if you were to do this outside of, of the Death Wish map, you'll be able to get a roll on the rift roulette for free. By Super Sandwich Galaxy. Speaking of being in the mod menu, we can actually read the full description. During what should have been a totally normal summer, a mysterious time rift revealed itself. A rift unlike anything seen before it. A rift in the sun. Maybe that's why it was behind the security field? Question mark? I do these levels in a kind of way that actually has a story. <laughs> I'm kind of like that. I'm quirky. The Rift of the Rising Sun, true to its name, is a rift that takes place on the surface of a nearby sun. It is unknown who or what made it, nor for what purpose, but it is clear that this rift it will be no cakewalk. Enemies and hazards litter the rift, and the only way out seems to be activating the floor panels. But the rift, true to its name, won't let its prisoners out that easily. The raging inferno below will rise with each level ascended. Will you be able to dodge the flames and stabilise the rift, or will the heat be too much for you to handle? Or in layman's terms, very epic, very hot level, which time Peace don't catch on fire. Thank you, hero. <laughs> Made for the 2023 Summer Mod Jam on Hackcord. That's the that name Hat Time Community on Discord. Um, Playtesting by Brackmouth and Hatlag. Hatlag, we've heard names of before. An idea given by Mr. Brawls, which has been previously featured already. Since this is going to be a rift, I will be obviously getting a free spin off screen and I will show you what that is. I'll make note of it when I go for the mod timepiece. Didn't realise I was playing Mario Kart 8. <laughs> Interesting that. Thankfully we do not burn in this level. But yeah, we got some classic lava music here. 
from the new Super Mario Brothers series, which funnily enough is now getting completely shafted by Super Mario Brothers Wonder. That um, I wonder how that will go down. It looks absolutely amazing. Like the level of charm, pretty much like breathes new life into the Mario characters to a point where like it's like they brought the artwork of the original manuals to life from back in the NES and Super NES era. It's that good in my opinion. Right, so um, I'm going to actually swap something around on my uh, badges here. I think I'm going to swap Fast Hatter for the projectile badge, mainly because that we've got enemies on fire and they can be a bit of a problem. For some reason though, even though they clearly get touched by my beam at full charge here, these guys don't take damage because I'm not completely aligned with them and I still got hit by them. Remember, you can't mash the button in order to swing your weapon more. Okay, you can. If you tap it at a nice rhythm, you'll immediately go for a fire instead. Thankfully, we've got some health here, so it's not too big of a problem. And there's no collectibles in this. You've just got to get to the end, just like any uh, rift that you have played before. Excuse me. Okay, I'm taking that off because that's actually causing more problems. You raise me up. Wait, how do we get onto that now? That's kind of left us behind. I guess we'll have to wait for it to come back down. If it does, it does! Right, hop on there. Get my health back again. The projectile badge will be more useful in a moment, though. Not for this level, but for the next one. We're going to cover another level after this, because this is pretty short. Because we're already on the final part of the level. The lava has risen. Pretty much means that the previous level you won't fall back down to. And you would void out and take damage. So just don't do that. It's a bit janky, but I'm fine. And plenty of harpons. Like, you, you shouldn't worry about dying in this level, honestly. One, two. There's two on here, so we'll just follow it around and step on each panel. There we are. We're just going to skip these completely. Land on the corner and swing. Maybe I should swap this as well so it's not going to burn, you know? I paused because I was going to change my weapon, but I don't really have any weapons that I want to equip that's not part of the uh, main game, as it were, so. But anyway, we've done this side, so we just need to head back and then do pretty much the exact same thing on this side. It is, like, completely symmetrical. So we'll just climb up here real quick. There we go. Oh! That almost went messy! Ha! I'm sneaky. Oh! That was sneaky. They put it a little bit differently. Oh no, I just completely avoided it. I thought I touched it. Our oh, wall running doesn't make them uh, trigger. Okay. Oh no. Right, bounce with it. There we go. Now we can make our way. Ah, oh, there we go. That was much more clean. Hit the panel. And then we have a gear-like staircase to the timepiece. As I said, you get a, uh, ri a Rift Roulette spin if you do this as a, a, well, as well as a mod Rift token, if you did this in the mod menu like any other mod. And as I said, I'll be doing those off screen to, you know, just get those additional tokens after the event. I'll be obviously getting that spin off screen and it's just going to be something from Payday or the uh, Pepino uh, mod packs that we have for the costumes. So I will be making a note of that to show that off after this event. That didn't do anything to that 50% one at the back there. It must be one of the other levels. We still don't have enough for the 35. And that didn't really do anything for us except for increase our stamp count. So now we're going to have to go with the only option that we do have. Snatch is not so sketchy carnival. Again, I'm leaving this for last. And there's a reason why. It's going to take a while. But here we have Snatchers Not Sketchy Carnival. Collect a golden ticket. We collect two golden tickets. We open the golden vault. And we get to leave. But that's not all. Snatchers not so sketchy carnival, hey Hey kiddo, welcome to my carnival, forward slash fair. There's all sorts of games to play and places to hide out in, like the world's largest sandcastle trademark. But please don't pay any attention to the weird parts of my carnival. It's completely legitimate and there's nothing sketchy going on. No illegal gambling, no tax evasion, nothing. This map features some games to play and prize tickets to snatch. 
If you can get all four prize tickets, you'll get a timepiece from the prize vault. There's also an alternate ending that includes a boss fight and another timepiece if you climb to the top of the sandcastle and ring the bell at the top. I would recommend completing the games first though. Created for the 2023 hat and time to discord modus I mean jam, I will sell the credits for the end card. So yeah, this has an alternate ending and it has two timepieces and that additional timepiece with the boss is optional. Now, for getting the timepiece, that will actually count to opening the golden vault because by opening the golden vault, it doesn't actually give it to you. It's basically get the timepiece. You will only get the golden vault bonus if you pick up the timepiece but it's not the timepiece it's a timepiece because if you go into the boss fight after grabbing at least two golden tickets you can still get all three not too sure how it tracks that however i will be doing the boss fight in the mod so that it counts how many times i die reason being is because i think it would be a bit unfair if i just went into the mod level and do it we got to have that extra little bit of the game's tracking you, even though I would track it myself anyway. It saves me effort. So, yeah, we're going to be doing both of these timepieces in this one. However, we won't be doing them back to back and hopping straight in. There is one rift token in the level, which is incredibly hard to get. This is what I mentioned back when we were covering Lilac's headpiece. But there's also a yarn, which is incredibly easy to get. And we also have a mod reward as well. So we've got a lot to cover. So let's go get those golden tickets first, shall we? And see how sketchy this really is. Aha! Look at them dance! That one in the background is huge. Huge like... And we have VIP. We can just skip all of this and know none of them have dialogue. Hey, kiddo, and yes, and gentlemen, welcome to my amazing carnival. It features all sorts of wacky festivities and activities like the world's largest sound castle, games and booths like the annoying owl and not at all sketchy hammer game. A prize counter that includes a shiny timepiece, delicious food. And more, all brought to you by the sun. Let our energy sustain you. So come on in, explore in the blistering summer heat, hang out with your friends and family, and most importantly, don't pay any attention to our suspicious scam. I mean, have fun! <laughs> Alright then. So everyone's just kind of, uh, doing their own thing. I'd... Okay. <laughs> it's like he was running away from me, but at the same time he wasn't. There's nothing around the outer back, so we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to get on to the thing at hand, because we can explore, but there's not actually much to do other than the attractions that we were pointed out to. Can't talk to you from down here. What if I come to your Would you like to buy a pool toy? Uh, maybe. We have all kinds of shapes and sizes. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I don't want that. Sorry, I wanted to take the snatchy ball. Can we toss that in the water? Yeet! It does actually float. What about a watermelon? Oh, I can actually take the watermelon. Yes! I hold it's my own. It be watermelon. Yes! I can sit down. Chill with the locals. Get some food. Again, I don't think... Uh, wait, is... Wait, is this... This is a combo... No, hang on. What's a... There's a combination here and I can't remember. I think there is. Yes, soda and triple scoop. We can actually get additional health. This will be invaluable for that boss coming up. Oh, we actually sit down to eat. I didn't realise that we would actually sit down to do this. Actually puts us in a chair. That's... Nice touch, actually. I never tried that. But yeah, we get an additional hit point, which will be invaluable. But we don't need it for now, but it was... Have you seen my money? It, it's not even visible on the screen. If I wait... There we are. 12,000. Also, uh, I'm just going to loot this, if you don't mind. There we are, brewing yarn. Uh, <laughs> right opposite the, uh, the golden vault, pretty much. Uh, we haven't seen that yet, but I'll show you in just a moment. 
There it is. Just sitting up here for some reason. Don't know why it's there and not behind here, but there you gizzle, I guess. For some reason, you can kill that one. There's a lot of ice here. Hello, you. Just sitting in your stall. Would child like to knock bottles down to win prize? Or you need someone to hit or even blow them up? Wait, well, you say hit or blow them up, but hitting them doesn't do anything. The brewing hat doesn't do anything, even though I literally tossed money at him. So you might be thinking, I need to get a pool toy. There's a couple behind here. So you can go get, I don't know, a little floaty like this and toss them at it. But that don't work either. You have to legit blow them up, but your own explosives don't work either. Behind in this stall with the keg, basically behind the bar, is a cherry bomb. Go back to where you found the brewing yarn, I guess that's your clue. Wait, you would think, brewing yarn? You need the brewing hat in order to get that token, that's why it provides you with a single yarn to clue you in on the fact. What just happened there? That, I have not seen that happen. Okay then, uh, get the dweller next to the brewing yarn, and that's what you need to use to blow this up. You'd think that would knock it down as well, but it doesn't. Also, I think someone's gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take you. Let's move on, I guess. You're selling the spores. Are you mad? That's not sketchy at all. Come one, come all. Spend five dollars and play my wonderful hammer game to potentially win the jackpot or at least some of your money back. If you want to play, reserve your spot today. And I mean reserve because we lost all of our ice hammers and we don't have a way for you to play today. Maybe that's what that explosion was. I didn't ever, ever notice that, but we have an ice hammer and we got a ticket for it. Congratulations, you won the five million pawn jackpot. Unfortunately, kid, you didn't pay your uh, mean because you didn't play pay to play the game. I'm pretty sure you can't take rain checks to these games, so I can't give you any pawns. Also, did you know that these types of games are terrible for your young mind? They could get you addicted to gambling. I mean, he does have a point, but at the same time, don't put it in your game. Then again, Pokemon Scarlet has eBay, so... Mm. Hi there, I'm a science owl who's conducting a bit of an experiment about birds, specifically how someone would react to certain birds. However, everyone at this carnival wants to play games that have fun instead of willingly participate in random experiments. That's why I turn my experiment into a game. I call it whack -a bird Copyright Owl You Need is Science Inc. Essentially, whack the conductor or DJ grooves, don't worry, they're just test dummies. While not hitting the conductor's grandchildren, they're also test dummies, and all sorts of projectiles. With this, I'm verifying the data I recorded to show that people wouldn't get hurt a baby bird. Would you like to participate in the experiment? I'll compensate you with a prize ticket if you get at least 30 points. Sure. Alright then, let me get the game set up. And during that loading, I am going to immediately swap my fast hat badge for projectile. This is when I want projectile. Because then we can just do that instead of trying to chase down the dummies in order to get ourselves some score. Actually, I just realised I have this on. Why do I have this on? Let's put the new one on. I never actually shown it off. Oh, I've completely forgot that I have this uh, remix on from one of our other mods. Instead of it just the usual, um, like train rush, it's the other friends remix from Steven Universe. <laughs> I completely forgot, it's because we haven't actually played that mission since I've had that remix. Oh my god, it actually speeds up as well. It's getting high pitched. Oh god. Spinel, please! I, I don't even know if I need to actually talk for this. I probably should have to. I need to turn this off. Oh no, what have I done? This is a problem. Also, we're running out of time. We've only got like, well, we've got over a minute. I'm going to have to talk about this soon. Well, oh, don't hit the babies. You'll lose points. To be fair, it is getting faster now, so I should probably be able to stop talking over it just for the sake of being safe and all that. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's alright. Boy. It's it's hard talking over it, honestly. <laughs> that, bit, that bit sounds so silly, what the heck? It just sounds so weird. 
Oh, I can get you. No, I missed. But yeah, you don't need to chase down the dummies if you have the projectile badge. It's kind of a kind of a break. You can also get two at once, which is very useful. And da! <laughs> oh my god. Like perfectly cut off screen right there. I think it's gone so fast that she can't even sing anymore. Oh no, now it's gone to a bit of Megalovania. I forgot that that was part of it. I'm actually hitting babies, which is lowering my score. Oh, I was one off. You're kidding me, man. It was because the beam was hitting a lot of the babies. Well, at least we get to see this dialogue. Sorry, hat kid, you didn't get 30 points, so I can't give you a ticket. As scientists, I normally give my test subjects compensation for their time, even the experiment goes wrong. However, the Snatcher gave us some rules to follow for this carnival, and one of them is don't give any kiddos free prizes without any effort, thus I can't give you the prize ticket. It was still there, though. Alright, there we are, we have 30. There's no uh, additional rewards or reason to go above 30. Once you get 30, you can just sit there and dance if you want to. There's no penalty for doing that, so we've hit the 30, gonna wait until this ends. They're actually double stacking. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. Yeah, they are definitely double stacking. I'm not too sure that's supposed to happen. I think that's what was screwing me over, because I was hitting DJ Grooves and the conductor, but there was additional babies in the way. You did it, hat kid. You got through my experiment. Thanks to all the valuable data you provided me. Here's a prize ticket. Feel free to get a cool toy at the prize count or maybe save up to unlock that strange gold vault. Or you can give it to someone who wants the tickets. Anyway, I'll probably get going soon and present my report of data to the board of scientists. Hopefully my research can be used for some other research study or even a product. What do you mean you only avoided the babies at the ticket? I mean, that's the incentive, is it not? Yeah, didn't expect to fail that one point off, but yeah, there's no point continuing to get a high score because there's no benefit to that. But we have almost all the tickets. We need to get the last one, so it's into the castle we go. Oh my god, he's huge. Wait, what's with all this sod off? Hello, just bouncing around. Can't get in there. Here's a thing. Um, here's also a thing. For some reason, I still have the ukulele, even though I put on the gothic umbrella. That was a bit weird. It's like it keeps overwriting. Maybe it's because that it's a similar model to this. What is it actually the same model? Oh, it's not doing it now. That was a bit weird. But yeah, there's no actual key for that door, so you can never get in there. And we still have a token to find, but we'll get that after we've got our first timepiece. Ah, it's you again! I thought the cruise would be the last time I was going to run into you, but here you are at the carnival. I mean, we met at the event, but I guess you don't count that, because you were still technically on a cruise. Well, since you're here, might as well offer you the chance to play my squid game. And it's not that kind of squid game. You want to play that play crab game on Steam. Choose the right bucket with the fish in it, and I'll offer you a prestigious prize. It would normally cost some pawns to play. I still need to buy a new body after all. But I'm feeling a bit generous and I want to give you a peace offering. Would you like to play? Sure. Excellent. Let me explain the rules. There are three buckets of squid and one of them has a fish in it. After I put the fish in a bucket, I'll shuffle the buckets and you'll have to keep track of them. Then, choose the bucket with the fish in it. It's that simple. Now anyway... Let's begin! This is truly random, so you do need to keep an eye on the fishy. And they like to stick in a lot of animations like Donkey Kong 64's title screen when you leave it idle for too long. <laughs> he got pushed. In order to distract you. You'll get Dancing Mafia and all that stuff, like that guy there. Yeah, just don't pay attention to them. I'm going to shush now so I can keep focused. Hey. Ah! I don't think I've seen that one.
All right, hat kid. I shuffled these buckets 75 times. Now it's time to guess which bucket has the fish in it. Left! Literally just an egg on a steak. Wait, that's supposed to... Did she? It can't be! Um... Did we finally finish him off? Mafia C Robot come out of boss. Is boss robot? If boss robot is Revlon Mafia Bot 2, both Mafia Society is a robot. You mean this was a fake? Mafia invite boss to winning, but Boffia's but Boffia? Wow, Boffia! I d sure, Boffia dies as excuse. Boss death is shameful. Mafia should always be there for each other, day and night. If Mafia challenged by life, we punch her together. I mean, I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> you gotta grab the world by the conkers! <laughs> you gotta get the vodka water. But yeah, we have all four of the golden tickets. We can now get ourselves a chocolate factory. No, just a timepiece. We were told it was a timepiece, but... As I said, we're not done here yet, but first we need to collect our spoils. We still have a rift token to get, as well as a boss. Then we need to eat of some food and prepare. Ha! We have a new mod hat, which is something that we've already had before. Which is the moon glasses, which I accidentally showed off the timepiece juice hat, which was also by Happy Job. Here's the page so you're not confused, and is what I would consider an official mod, because even though it's not on this map apparently, it is based off of the official Discord exclusive sticker. It's the timepiece juice hat as a sprint hat flare, you know the one. It's the one that is based off of the Discord exclusive sticker. Why did it not render? Anyway, I always have to do it twice for some reason, maybe it doesn't load quick enough, but yeah. Um, that, that sticker is... Discord exclusive that requires community timepieces by participating in modding jams, uh, art submissions when there's an event going on, or by typing in a particular code while watching a live stream. I've covered all this before in our sticker video during uh, or after the fifth birthday event when they added additional stickers on top of that. And they keep adding stickers. But, this does mean that this hat, which is based off of that sticker, is now official as well, technically. This is obviously a mod download, and you don't even need to play the event in order to get the hat if you download the mod prior, which I already had done because I showed it off. I really wish I had this mod instead of the Death Wish Counter mod. Hell, I don't even know if the Death Wish count Death Counter mod was actually breaking what the presence was supposed to show me to begin with. And it seems like we only have two more rewards left, and we're still not got enough stamps in order to unlock this 35 candle. But we do have Breezy Summer Parasailing open now, as well as this level over here that requires only six stamps. Because you could have just went straight to Beach Bash, go up with two, and then go for the six. Which would have been enough. Three, six, there you go. And then, this was already unlocked. That's how we unlock the 50, by doing this level here. But, we're not doing that for now. We have got a boss to deal with. So let's go grab some ice cream and go back in. Oh, you have a combination as well. Fine, I'm going to get some pizza instead then. Because you can't go wrong without pizza. A new combo has been found. There we go. Now we're all ready. I was just going to go with the ice cream combination, but then I remembered seeing soda and pizza in my notes, and I was like, I'll go with that instead, because why not? Also, I managed to slide out of the slide without actually going in the slide properly. So if we remember what the tip that the actual mod creator gave us is that it's above the castle. There are some dweller platforms up there and we can easily climb up with this sand mound here. And the arrows are telling us to go this way. There is literally nothing else strewn about this area except if we look straight up from here. You can't see it and the barriers are, well, uh, if I remember correctly, it's the fences that are the actual out bounds area. It's basically like an invisible wall. You see this? Which means that extends all the way up, which kind of cuts this tower in half. It's also not on the floor properly, I have just noticed. You need to make a very precise jump in order to get on top of that tower that I was just pointing out. Once we get high enough, and here's the thing, it's not going to be easy. In fact, they actually want you to climb up here, but it's easier just to climb up the sand mound here in the corner which is where we need to go, because you would probably see these platforms sticking off this battlement. Come up. They're all wibbly. 
Right, so we need the Dweller Hat, or Dweller Mask, shall I say, or more like my nice cool shades, and bounce up here. And it's starting to get pretty floaty here. Whoa. Let's start scaling. This one's a bit of a complex one. You can see the car park. You can't explore that, by the way. Once again. Ah, oh, no, I missed it. Ah! Luckily, we don't take any damage in this uh, level, unless it's within the boss fight that we're coming into. So, don't need the full badge on. Or the no full badge, excuse me. Uh, excuse me? Do you want to get up there? There we go. Yeah, because you need to kind of do that so you can climb up like that. Very tricky, Dicky. Now, do not hookshot this bell unless you're ready to throw down. You can also see Hackett's ship once again just looming. But if you notice behind this tower here, you see those shimmers. That's where we need to get to. Now, are you kidding me? You didn't grab the ledge. From here, you need to somehow stretch out a perfect double jump lunge cancel to get onto this bush in order to make that jump and get up there. That is incredibly difficult, though. And if you remember what I said before, I mean, how were we even going to get to this level in the map if we didn't have the mods downloaded? If we were downloading mods as we went, going through the map. Lilac's headpiece. This is where I would suggest using it. Double. Jump. Spin! Easily make it, but you can't keep going forward as you will hit a wall, as I mentioned. Double jump, lunge, cancel, climb the ledge, and you don't have a lot of exploration available up here because of the invisible wall, but there is a rift token hidden behind here. Now, what I am going to do is get back to that point, because it's going to take me a little bit to get up there, um, unless I use the rocket hat, and I'm going to show you how to do it with a very precise double jump, lunge, cancel. Putting on my no bonk badge back on just so I don't actually screw this up. Right, so at the very edge, what we gotta do is jump, get most of the floatiness as possible. Ah! There we go, made it! And that is how you get over here without Lilac's headpiece. Alright, I'm back up here, let's climb up here, and ring the bell. Have the projectile badge equipped, I recommend it. Why have I got. I might have to uninstall this guitar weapon, it keeps forcing itself to be equipped. Which is not what I'm telling it to do. Look at look at my weapon icon. What do I have equipped? Ah, well, you know what? It'll be funny. Ah, here's the color we've been looking for. I'm gonna have some fortunes. But where's the host? Kid, help! I'm drowning. But most importantly, why the peck did you summon those sun gods? I've been avoiding them for years, but you just handed to, happened to bring their attention to my carnival. Yes, you've been hiding for us, and we don't want to get you under fraud. But we found out quickly once you are removed. We've learned of how you since you've opened it in the beginning of summer. You've discovered unneeded tasks, non existent business plans, and even game. And if it's monstering exclusively from us. However, we couldn't find the carnival's physics location for a while. Well, we did face that wicked battle. Now we're here to crash this carnival, turn them around, and our strange side magnet in this trial. It's just because stuff freaking poisons us. Yes. We also have plans to destroy those who are involved with it. The news is trying to see it all good. Hey! The tiny little lady didn't do anything at all. Why is she having to be in my place of the earth? Because, you see, did tell the girl had previously worked with you for such a long time to rebel against the Snatchers. If the Snatchers aren't the one killing us, or the task that we're given not killing us, it kills us even after we're done. This is beyond a joke. Plus, she just witnessed to our whole conversation. And it's true, she just been listening to our words. Yeah, how about we be there? Wow, okay. You switched your mind really quickly, rude. That sounds like a plan to me. Alright, so, starting off, what we need to do is... Wait, is my health still? Oh, I've lost my additional health because it 
loads of loot segment. Oh, I lost it due to the fall. I must have lost it due to fall damage. I must have actually taken fall damage. Bob Saget. Thankfully, starting off, it's just an enemy mob. Just take out all the fiery crows that are being chucked at you. Take out the bully crows as well. And ever so often, you will be healed by ponds that fall out against us. Oh, hey! He was on me. Right, let's get some distance real quick. And again, the reason why I want the projectile badge is so I can actually take them out quite early, even from the opposite side of the pillar. Or we'll take two of them out like that. Like that again. Very useful. Just slapping them with my guitar. Yeah, I might have to uninstall this mod if it keeps forcing it on, because I don't want, I don't want to be keep cha continuously changing my weapon, even if it says I've already got a different weapon on. So that's what I was mulling over. Also, that fired and didn't kill a single one of them. Rude. So yeah, I'm getting deaths, not because of all the death wishes I've already complete, completed. Could have done this outside of the mod, but I decided, nah, where's the fun in that? Plus, it makes it look more official. Sorry, the, uh, the lack of the parasol that I had equipped being visible was disturbing me, so I changed it. Unfortunately, you do start immediately back into the boss fight, so you can't go back down and prepare and get an extra hit point through food. You'll have to stick with the four that you have. And, ironically enough, I died on the easiest part. I didn't even get to, like, the second phase. Because you think it's just going to be this. Nah, this is just them teasing you and seeing what you're capable of. And all I'm capable of is just doing this. Thing. That was a triple kill. Oh, oh, that's cheeky. I thought we moved on to the second phase for a second there. Because nothing was happening. And then you just happened to land on me. Absolutely disrespectful. Okay, this is definitely going on the amount of time that I assumed it was going to. Again, the bamboozling made me think it was going to end a lot quicker. Ah, this, is too long. this dude's got anger issues. Thankfully, if he's nowhere near you, you can hit him with the beam. You can hit this guy at any point. You don't need to wait for him to be vulnerable. Although when he's jumping around, your homing attack doesn't seem to like targeting him very much. Also, watch out for the bouncing star pieces. And the meteorites that are about falling all over the place. As long as you keep moving, you shouldn't get hit. I don't tend to get hit by this guy. Maybe once or twice, but not too many times. Also, beating this guy should give us hot bombs. I couldn't even see him throughout the mess of fire. Oh, he's there. Anyway, I've got him. You see how insane this boss fight is? It's just all over the place. Oh! Got him! Uh, sometimes I keep I keep losing him in the mess of it all. Got him! Oh, really? Cheeky! I just got the health. Yep, we've got the buckets that we had to get guess with the Mafia. They are now spewing fire and they just keep spinning around. We can move along with them, which is great. But they are mainly the biggest annoyance of this part of the fight. This is phase three. It's a four phase battle. I got more health somehow. I'm happy with that. I guess you could call that phase 3.1. This is phase 3.2. Cherry bombs will spawn in as well as crows from these holes. If the crows do spawn, you can either take them out yourself or stay far enough away, and chances are a cherry bomb will take them out. Just keep your distance, and you can pretty much just dodge. Unfortunately, this is the part of the battle where health does not like to show itself, even if you do kill the enemies yourself. This is the part of the battle where the game can get a bit stingy, and yet there's a lot more going on, technically. Whee! That bucket was onto me! I almost touched that bucket. I'm, I'm running around following them, but at the same time, I don't want to go anywhere near the uh, the cherries. There's three birds there, and I'll try and take them out. My beam was getting ignored. Ah, uh, this isn't going well. Slack! You can finally take them down. I'm trying my best, and fortunately, I'm able to visit as well as long as I can make them 
which is our clue. They're not... Oh, they're phantoms! They must have blown up upon spawning and it messed them up. Yeah, so as, unlike the bird, or the owl, shall I say, this sun god octopus is only available to be hit when he's not lava fight. But that seems to happen every time he does a shockwave. So if you just fight him like any other squid, hitting him when he does a shockwave, you'll take him out really quickly. That's phase four. Oh, that's it. You killed my friends, but you won't kill me. Well, shit. So, this means goodbye. No! Well, take that, you stupid god! Thanks for ruining my research of a whack a bird game with your lava. And I can't believe that you didn't even try to avoid my Deus Ex Penguin. Yep, he just launched one of his uh, dummies at him. Perfectly cut stream once again from DJ Grooves. Oh! Kiddo, you did it. You murdered and killed all those annoying gods who destroyed my carnival. Now I can run my business worry free. But I'll have to rebuild and relocate my carnival away from all this sun lava. Maybe I'll have my second carnival in the Alps, or maybe even on the moon. Is it just me, or has everyone just forgotten that we're surrounded by exploding apples? Or cherry bombs? With dynamite. On a timer. Ticking away. And flashing. Just me? I don't want to spend hours of restless work in the sun again to make a carnival, so I'll probably just insl I mean, contract a couple of dweller spirits to build one for me. But all of that will come in due time once everything here is cleaned up. For now, take one of my time pieces as effects for saving the remains of my carnival. And this does count as a separate time piece, despite what the snatcher will say here. If you think that this will put a dent in my time piece collection, don't worry, kiddo. I have 50 in my pants right now, so I can easily restock that golden vault with new prizes. Hinting at the fact he took this out of the golden vault to give to you. It does not share the same ID. They are both separate mod timepieces slash mod rift tokens. So that's two you can get in this level. Which is why I did it in here, so I can handle that later on. I cannot talk to you. This looks dangerous. I think we should leave. I'll see you guys next time as we continue through the live 2023 summer event. After defeating the sun gods, the hat kid pictured what the Snatcher's second carnival would look like. More food and snacks, a higher quality sandcastle, better climate, and most importantly, five games instead of four. She hopes that it will run smoothly and without any interruptions like the Sun Gods, but little does she know that the Sun Gods are still alive, and by still alive I mean that there are way more than the three who are still keeping track of the Snatcher's crimes. Did you really think that was just three people that could remove an entire area over six quadrillion kilometers squared long with the rest of the galaxy? I don't even know what that number is, but you probably didn't. And that's not even the main concern here, because Hackgid forgot about something even more important. Seville's bombs were still counting down and were about to explode. I guess I won't see you next time.